What's going on, everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in to the Run Stretch Tech YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if you find the video useful. So today we'll be doing a performance review on the Li Ning Way of Way 9 Infinity shoe. Now, I ordered this shoe from China, and uh, it took about six days to get to me. I'm actually in Indianapolis, Indiana, in the Midwest, so it didn't take as long as I thought. Also, you're looking at about 255 US dollars. Now, this particular uh, style that I have here is actually about to sell out. So, if you wear a 13 or a size 8, you might want to grab them if you want them. If not, they'll probably you'll be gone. So, the features are boom technology insole, perforated EVA midsole, PBEC stabilizer uh, with boom technology. Uh, this boom technology is, is in a four foot. Uh, you got the cloud technology, carbon fiber supporting the sheet in the heel, full lift carbon fiber plate uh, in the front, lateral TPU stabilizer uh, on the bottom, and then you got the outsole with parameterized latest pattern. All right, so getting into this performance review, I wanted to start with stopping on the dime to see how the shoe reacts. And as you can see, the traction is pretty good. Also, the shoe is flexible, meaning it goes where I go, uh, which, you know, makes it a stable shoe. Um, I start by kind of going between the legs, doing little, little mini quick crossovers here to really test out the lateral motion. Then I start to add some uh, spin moves in here and it feels really, really good when I elevate and come down. So if you notice on the shoe, uh during the initial part of this uh video um it's kind of got a, a round roundness to it and i've noticed that my body was balanced while i was shooting the ball going up and down so the shoe looks different but sometimes different is good overall i would say i am happy with my purchase and nobody sent me anything so uh again this is coming out of my own pockets. Nobody's sponsoring me anything like that. So I'll start to go into some up and under, see how it felt going up and down. Land is pretty good. Going up is pretty good. Uh, actually, I felt more elevated than usual in this shoe. I know it sounds kind of odd for somebody uh, <laughs> probably 37 years old, but hey, I'm just telling you what I felt. All right, so now I'm starting to, you know, test out my jump shot. Um, just kind of tossing the ball to myself, really trying to dig, feeling for that traction. And uh, again, overall, uh, this is a pretty good shoe. And uh, let's go ahead and, and talk about the grades that we're going to get a shoe. All right, guys, so I'm not going to waste you guys time. We're going to go ahead and give this shoe a score. We're gonna break it down into the categories we normally break them down to. So starting off with the ankle support, uh, I would say my ankle felt supported, but I wouldn't say that um, it was the greatest of the great ankle support. So this, this part of the shoe up here is not supporting the ankle at all. It's more of a design. So as I open it up here, you see where your support is gonna be. So. If you like playing in a low top basketball shoe, then this shoe is going to be great for you. Uh, for me, I like low low top uh, ankle supported shoes. Um, so for me, this is a plus. Uh, now with this shoe, when you are tightening the shoes up because they don't have the typical shoelace, you push the buttons in and you turn. You hit it clicking there. Same thing. Turn clockwise. If you want to loosen them up, you pull them out and then you kind of adjust the strings here. All right. So that's how you loosen the shoe. So ankle support, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. Um, traction, I'm going to get that a nine out of 10 as well. I think the shoe uh, has pretty good traction. And I always like to test these shoes out on, on uh, the dusty services to see how much dust the shoe actually picks up. Um, 
I only wipe my feet, you know, a few times in, during a 45 minute uh, session of this video. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the traction. You know, that's the most important thing for me. Uh, so we're going to get at a nine out of 10. Now, the weight of the shoe, I would say is middle of the road. So I would say it's not super heavy, but it's not super light either. Um, so with that being said, I would give it a, a 10 out of 10 as far as the weight goes for me personally, because I want to feel like it's something on my feet. You know, some people want the shoes as light as possible. Uh, they they want to feel like nothing's even on their feet. But for me, um, and, you know, kind of my experience with shoes, especially playing in shoes since the 80s up until now, my mind is kind of processed to have my feet feeling a certain way when I play. All right. Comfort of the shoe, uh, 10 out of 10. Uh, once you get your feet in there, it's a very comfortable shoe for basketball. Um, I actually felt like I was floating on air and I even felt like I got more elevation during my jump shot than usual. Uh, even when I kind of practiced with the layups, I felt like, you know, I was elevating even higher. So I don't know if that was mental or, you know, the shoe actually helping out a bit. All right. So uh, comfort 10 out of 10. Stability, I will have to go with a 9 out of 10. Um, I would say the shoe does go with you. It's not fighting against you, but this shoe is not like super flexible either because of the, how the sole is made. Um, but I, I feel like the shoe is, is still stable. Uh, I didn't feel wobbly or anything like that. My knees and ankles didn't feel, uh, like they were imbalanced as I was playing in these shoes. So, Nine out of ten there. Uh, now this shoe does run uh, to to true size, so for me I wear ten. This is a size ten, and I don't feel like it would have done me any justice if I would have gone up or down to half size. So we're good there. Uh, ten out of ten. Uh, the ventilation of the shoe. So obviously, if you look, you can see ventilation holes all throughout the shoe. Uh, on both sides, even the back here. Um, so my feet didn't sweat at all while playing in these shoes. So for me, that's a plus. Uh, 10 out of 10 there. Uh, durability of the shoe. Now, because this shoe uh, is not uh, super flexible, which doesn't really have anything to do with durability all the time, I feel like this shoe is going to last a long time because... Um, if you look at how the sole is made, I know that this shoe is going to last. And then, you know, kind of playing in this shoe and analyzing it, I don't feel like this shoe is going to wear down anytime soon. Uh, obviously, as you know, shoes are normally made to be worn for one season. But I feel like with this shoe, I'll probably get more than a season's worth out of this shoe if I were to wear them, you know, playing all the time. So... That's going to get us to about a, you know, 9.5, 9.6 out of 10 range. Um, so overall, I'm happy with the shoe. Uh, I don't feel upset at all about my purchase. Actually, I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy with the time that it took to get to me. Uh, the price, you know, that's up to you to make that decision. Uh, way of, way brand does actually have... Uh, you know, different price shoes. So if you don't want to pay 255 US dollars, there's other shoes uh, by the way, way of way uh, collection uh, by Lee Ning. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, hopefully you guys got something out of this video. Till next time, guys, peace out, be good, and I'm out.